The badge says it all. This week on Test Drive, we take a look at Audi's latest. Now, the A tells you that it's an Audi. The 4 tells you that this car is based on their new mid-size platform. From here on in, all new Audis will wear an alphanumeric badge. Power for the A4 is supplied by a 2.8 litre V6 engine rated at 172 horsepower and 184 pounds-feet of torque. While this unit is long on technical wizardry, it is short on low-end punch. To get the best out of this engine, you must use the rev range to the full extent because little of the available power shows up for work below 4,000 RPM. Above this figure, the engine performance is acceptable. For the record, I required 8.5 seconds to run from rest to 100K. The manual box is one of the highlights. The feel is crisp, the throw's reasonable, and the clutch nicely progressive. This new A4, I think, is one of the quietest vehicles I've ever driven. There's barely any tire noise, only a hint of wind noise, and as for the engine, well, it's just a whisper in the background. The other thing, it's also one of the most comfortable. Only the largest of potholes actually filter back to the occupants. The fly in the ointment, well, it's the armrest. It's very difficult to change gears with this thing down, making it a rather redundant item. The suspension features a clever four-link design both front and rear with anti-roll bars at both ends. The beauty of the design is that the front suspension nullifies the effect external forces can have on the car. It minimizes torque steer, not that there's much to talk about in the first place, as well as any drift under heavy braking. The true testament comes in the fact that the handling qualities are the equal of the ride. The whole setup is taut, well damped and completely devoid of harshness. The brakes utilize discs all round as well as Bosch's wonderful ABS-5 anti-lock system. At 112 feet from 80K, the stops are short, but more importantly, exceptionally well controlled. Indoors, the Audi A4 is a full two inches wider than its predecessor, meaning more elbow room and more space between the front passengers. The new wraparound dash has been very well designed. All the controls are very easy to access and operate, neat stack above the radio. Even the climate controls, despite their outward appearance, are very easy to use. But the real bonus, they finally wired the radio through the ignition, meaning when you take the key out, all is quiet. All of that said, they still haven't addressed my pet peeve. There's still one too many levers on this side of the column. The light switch here needs to find a home somewhere on the dash. Coffee cup holders, you say? Oh yes, they're simple, simply useless. In the rear, I've set this front seat for me. Plenty of knee room, however, headroom's a little tight. And on the subject of versatility, 60-40 split folding rear seat, but they've also thought to add a ski pass through for longer items. The trunk is large, well laid out, and benefits from the manner in which the back seat has been designed. Elsewhere, the A4 benefits from tilt and telescopic steering, headlight washers, a standard cold weather package which includes heated washer jets, a heated driver's door lock, and full bum warmers. The walnut veneer used throughout is a welcome touch, cutting down on the austerity that was once Audi's trademark. I've saved the best for last, and that is the Quattro system. It is, quite simply, a technical tour de force. At the heart of the system is a torsion center differential. This device continually monitors the available grip and alters the torque split to maintain traction. At speeds below 40 km an hour, the system is enhanced by something Audi call electronic differential locking. Using the ABS and its sensors, the EDL can apply brake pressure to a spinning wheel in an effort to shuttle the power to the opposite wheel, the one with the better traction. So effective is the latest version of Quattro that even if only one wheel has grip, the car will move. Now that's a feat few other cars can match regardless of price. Well, that's it for the test drive on the A4. You know, this vehicle combines civility and ability in a very nice package. The ability is brought to the party by the all-wheel drive Quattro system, while the civility, quite simply, the interior amenities. If you consider Motoring TV's been on the air for 30 plus years, 
There's no doubt you've missed a few episodes. Well, there's a couple of ways you can catch up and make sure you don't miss anything. First, you can go to YouTube and look up just segments or complete shows. Also, if you want to know what we're doing like today on a daily basis, just go to our Facebook page. And also, you can go to motoringtvshop.com and get some cool swag. Oh, there's also that Instagram thing.